you get out a lot and you discover a lot of talented people, and this time around it's a group of talented students. Yeah, you know, I love to roam around the River City and find a lot of flavors, but one of the biggest perks I have is running into people that are doing big things contributing to our community. So I met some high schoolers from First Coast Christian School who are part of a leadership academy, and they have come up with an event this weekend that's going to show some love to our military vets. It's a good way to show the community that, you know, we're a, we're a small school, but we're a, we're a big school at heart. We care about the community, and we want just to show them that First Coast Christian School is here for them. And that them is military vets and their families. Students in First Coast Christian School's Leadership Academy have embraced the responsibilities that come with the class. As being a leader, it just, it really helps give you experience, like planning big events and giving you opportunities to really impact people's lives. Our, um, our motto is impact through action, and we're really going to try and take it off the t-shirt and impact people's lives, and it gives you a lot of opportunities for that. Like working with this project that we're doing, it'll help us develop good leadership skills and help us develop good just as people in general. Yeah. Alex Dew explains the first year partnership between the Wells Road Chick-fil-A and First Coast Christian School. Chick-fil-A Leader Academy is a class that students can go through. Um, the class is actually sponsored by the local Chick-fil-A um, in the area. And so we actually have two right here um, in the Jacksonville Orange Park area sponsored by our store. And so basically these stu students are learning um, student leadership um, and a way to not only lead in their school but in their community. The partnership gets rave reviews from Leadership Academy students. It has um, greatly enhanced our leadership class, Definitely, I think. Yes. It's uh, a lot different than last year in such a good way. We do leader labs once a month mm -hmm. where the... Craig, the owner the, of the Chick-fil-A on Wells Road. He comes and um, we have videos that we watch and we do exercises that get us thinking about different ways that what we can do to impact people, what we can do to be leaders and be a good influence and make an impact on our community. This group has taken that challenge and come up with a way to show love to military vets. Basically, it's called Battle of the Branches because we want all members of all the military to come out. And we're going to have Capture the Flag tournament and a dodgeball tournament here at school. Besides the tourney considerations, there will be something for everyone, civilian and military. So all are invited. But we want military members to bring all their friends, all their families, anyone that they know that wants to come out. Anybody is welcome to come. Come on over. We will have food trucks here. We'll have music here, games for your kids all types of things for you, for your family to enjoy this day. Well, that's commendable. With all the opportunities available, I had to ask why this one became such a spark for their LAC. As a class, we kind of just sat down and talked. We're like, okay, so how do we want to impact this community? What is a good way we can show Jacksonville that we love them and that we care for them? And we found out this is a military community, and I think we need to impact our military because everyone impacts the first responders, policemen, but I think our military hasn't been appreciated as much. And I think that's where our goal was. At that age, I had no sense of direction. The jury's still out now. But these kids have garnered a lot of love for planning and holding their Battle of the Branches event. It's awesome to think that there's students out there in high school that want to actually do something great for the community, not only just for military, but for the kids in their school, their peers that they go to school with. Being seniors, you always want to make an impression and leave a legacy. Hector shares what mark he hopes Kayla and the rest of his senior class leave. Especially to show the underclassmen here at school that these seniors actually cared about everyone and that they worked hard to show them that we love them and that we care for them and that we are here for them. You know, we're not just a senior class that thinks they're the best and that they don't care about anybody else. We actually love all our underclassmen, elementary, middle school, and even some high school. Ooh, Hector, a little side eye. Bloop. Good luck, FCCS seniors. I'm Rance Adams for River City live and so the event is saturday at first coast christian school from 11 a.m to 3 p.m everybody's invited you can find all of that information out there in the web world yep on our website rivercitylivetv.com click on as seen on rcl that is just great seeing kids like that doing, yeah doing great I things no direction so thank you guys for showing <laughs> me uh how far i need to go <laughs>